What up, YouTube world? All that stuff outside. Snow. Yuck. Got some packages today. Opened one because I had to fix her mailbox. I got a replacement. I haven't got the weather being what it is. I haven't had a chance to put it up. <clears throat> so it was leaking and. Came in a cardboard sandwich. Thankfully, the card is outside the top loader. No damage to it that I can see. Again, this is only the second one now I've seen. I got this for a lot less than the first one. Got it for, I think, 70 cents. 30 cents, 40 cents, plus whatever the shipping was, so. And then this, I got, the guy was having problems with his PayPal. He wanted me to send a, uh, either a money order, because I bought it now and it didn't come up right away as the pay instantly. And I was like, well, that's odd. I haven't had one of those come up in five, six years before uh, eBay made their partnership with PayPal. And so I was like, Ugh. I said, well, do you want me to cancel? me? no, I'll, I guess I'll send out. I bought it, so I'd rather... Just do it through PayPal and be done with it that way instead of, again, used to do the sending the money orders out and sending well-concealed cash. But Christ, that was in the Yahoo auction days of the late 90s and eBay in its early infancy, at least for me, in 98, 99, so. It's like, okay, and then he's like, well, I think after a week I'd forgotten about it. I just, again, spaced it when, Garbage, 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 garbage. But anyway, he's like, I'm going to just send it to you. I finally got my PayPal fixed. It, and this was uh, probably more than a week. Must have been a couple weeks. And I, again, I saw the message after a while. I was like, oh shit, I got, yeah, I got to get that. Oh yeah, and once again, I, I just completely space it. But I got it in today, he said just keep it. And uh let him know down the road what uh if you see if I see something, so I'm gonna pimp him for being a good guy. Mint collectibles. <clears throat> but again, score end zone tomorrow to six. Like I said, I haven't picked up much of his stuff lately just because A, there hasn't been a lot, and B, he hasn't signed anywhere. I haven't picked up much of my stuff lately, he says. There hasn't been much on the internet, he says. <coughs> this was cheap. I wanted for, I think, opening bid or close to it. What a Leaf Trinity to 35, the bronze. Uh, thanks for everything, Coach Kingsbury. Hope he gets a chance somewhere, because again, with all these tight ends they're pimping up, he can... What are you doing? Well, you don't need to make so much noise. You know I'm making a video. Where, uh... <clears throat> where 
very solid catching the ball. Obviously, he had like 90 catches. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if we'll get a chance. I don't want him to wash out of the league because he really hasn't had a legit chance. Um, and there really isn't a pressing need anywhere. I'd say maybe uh, San Fran. I was hoping uh, St. Louis slash Rams, whatever, that uh, they may they might take a look at him, but they drafted someone in the second round. Um. There just really isn't a lot of openings out there for a tight end. Go back to Tennessee, maybe back up Delaney Walker. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping happens. But other than that, it's, it doesn't look good. But, got into another fire sale, and there's a couple cards I saw that I was interested in. <clears throat> Able to get one for the Dougie PC. Which I haven't picked up anything of his in a while, but... <clears throat> For a buck, I figured a uh, Dwight Howard jersey card was a worthwhile purchase out of 089 Fleer. Slash Upper Deck. I love this card. Number to 1000, Mikey Miller. Or the EX from his rookie year, the rookie jersey. That was also a buck. Um, people are dickering on the price. One guy's <coughs> he had it listed for five. The guy had said three with the question mark. And I just said sold at five. I like Jason Verrett a lot. Injured last year. One of ten. Figured why not? Picked up a few other cards of him. I know they won't flip for anything, but it's, and it's nice to have a, one of the defensive players that's the most solid on the team. Him, Casey Hayward, uh, Melvin Ingram. Of course, Bosa. And this one, I think you go out at like eight bucks, eight, ten bucks, and I got it for four fifty. How to select the green uh, X Fractor. Number to five. So happy with that. I try to limit myself from even looking at that stuff. <clears throat> Just because, again, it's such inconsequential stuff I need or truly want. <clears throat> Most of the time I find the stuff that I want has already been sold because people are... Again, I see see the stuff pop up seven hours after it's listed. So anything I really want is gone, or the seller gets super impatient and has something for five bucks. Somebody offers a buck fifty, and they take it right away. And I'm like, well, why don't you just put out two bucks then? If that's what you <coughs> you weren't you wouldn't really want to sell it at to whatever price you had it at. I don't know what is in here. Let's see all kinds of basketball goodness. I'm gonna take a peek at. Okay, let's see what I know what the card is, but let's see what all these trinkets are. Hito Terkoglu, Omri Caspi, Samuel Johnson, Gortat, Jordan Mickey. Josh Howard, Carl Land with nice fingerprints, Ray Allen, Spencer Hawes, Steven Jackson, who's in the new uh, Big Three League. <coughs> that knee brace on Tommy Heinchen. Look at that. Cedric Maxwell, Anderson Verajao, Al Jefferson, AK 47, 
Louis Williams, Nene Hilario, Greggy Monroe. I like those cards. The card I got, I keep on telling ya. I'm hoping for big things from this cat. This thing's five bucks. Dragon Bender. On card auto to absolute. Again, beautiful work. Panini. Well, it looks like you've got kids from like a Martin Luther King Jr. rally or people from a Martin Luther King Jr. rally in the 60s as your backdrop. You don't even have basketball fans. You learn to speak English from watching friends, so I just knocked him down a peg or two in my book. But I still think top three pick, top four pick, he should come around, finally do something. I really hope he does. Phoenix needs talent, needs scoring, need, need defending more than anything. But <coughs> they got a solid core there. And here's from the one. One auction group. I'd won a couple cards that were. Oh, this is I, again. I I space on ninety percent of what I get, which that's the old age creeping in. One card I know, Micah, you'll have some interest in, but I think this will be one staying in my collection. Shocking. I know. I know. Well, I just ruined that plastic, so. Well, here's the one that came with the Jason Morrow earlier, and slide that friend in. Okay, where's the... There it is. There's one card in here. I know a lot of you guys out there <clears throat> that watch will probably enjoy. And I know Jason. I believe I'll bid him on one card. Throwing a free card too, which that will be available. That's a person I do not collect at all. Okay. Oh, I will want more cards. Well, let's do that off to the side. Another card you like, Micah. Okay, we're ready. I don't even know what we're at for time. 14 minutes or so. Not bad. Not a fucking 30 minute video like usual. Here's a free card, so if anybody wants that, LMK. Infinity, Jonathan Williams, I think he's from Georgia Tech. Might be. Rookie last year. Jersey. Color Swap SP. So, I'm hoping it is. I got it for a buck. Which a lot of the stuff usually goes for more, especially the set collectors out there. Even if it's a nine card set, it's still a set to collect. <coughs> I figured two of the top three, two of the top five guards in the league, the third player in this. He only had it for three bucks and had one for I think seven. But out of 199, out of Intrigue, triple jersey of Kyrie, Johnny Wall, and Tyreek Evans. Out of 2016 Bowman Platinum, another Minnesota Twin for the old collection. Purple Refractor Auto of Mr. Nick Gordon.
This was one <coughs> that I won off. I think like the other auction site, the Sports Finest 2.0 page. And there's three cards that he had up. And I lost the... Uh, or I didn't go for the Hank Aaron. It's a Hank Aaron bat out of like 2001 SP game used or legendary game used or something like that. I did want this though. I remember him with Pittsburgh. And I know he's with a few other teams. I'd have to look. So I don't want to get him wrong. Out of Immaculate. On card auto, which is a big reason why I picked it up. Didn't get it for that much. It was like four bucks. That's sort of following in Seven's Hall of Good. Again, he won. I have nothing to look up here, but <clears throat> one of the Dominican Republic guys. <coughs> Finished six in the Rookie of the Year in 81, after hitting 300. He won four gold gloves. So, you win four gold gloves, you're, you're doing something right. So, Tony Pena, nice on-card auto to Immaculate. Nice looking card too. I mean, I like this gold sort of border. It all ties in with the old school Pirates jersey. I don't mean the gold here. I mean this sort of whatever's there. I like that. I didn't see the back, but again, I like that. It, everything just goes well together. And this is the one I got. I opened uh, CFJ Chicago fan Jason for. I'm a big fan of this kind of card. I wish it was on card, but... Out of 2010 contenders. And again, you can tell back then, great photography and nothing on the back. Uh, legendary contenders, Otto Ricasaris. Not sure what they're SP'd to, because these things used to be <coughs> when playoff was running the ship. They'd be numbered to 25 or SP. Do you know what they are right away? But not, not anymore. Nice looking card though. Like the foil, it's basically all on sticker minus the sort of the bottom. You'll see trickles off there. But what can you do? Last two are legitimate Hall of Famers, icons. Um. One was a minor damage around the window, which after 18 years is to be expected. It wasn't graded, so I'd... it's a nice card, even with the little the minor damage. Uh. So that'll be the last one I show, but this one's out of 2000 Upper Deck Legends. <coughs> and I got this for. I looked on eBay. I think the lowest buy it now was $19.99. I think I got this for $13.75. So, on card auto. I like the design. Um. I like the color insert picture with the black and white, more full picture with that guy. Harmon Killebrew. And then the last one. Football fans rejoice. Out of 99. Ooh, Leaf certified. And again, I think a lot of the the two parts of the 
indentations have to do because the patch is there. The other one just probably, again, you pack it out and you get a little dimple at the corner of the window, but <coughs> 99 Leaf Certified. And I think I showed this to this film not yet Raiden Michael. I was hoping to get it and I got it for probably more than I wanted to pay, but I, I, you just don't see A, this card come up, and you don't see a patch this nice. It's usually just a single color uh, window. Because I've looked, when I've done my searches for Bledsoe, when I've done my searches for Merino, all I've seen is like a white jersey or a teal or the navy blue up. So, without further ado, as the San Francisco Giants traded up, San Francisco Giants, the 49ers traded up in the 1986 draft, one spot ahead of the Dallas Cowboys, number 16 overall. Mr. Bill Walsh was enamored with a certain receiver. One had come off the boards and one more. Tune at 10 and Eddie, I don't know if it was Eddie Jordan or Eddie Johnson for the Bengals. A, couple, a pick or two later. <coughs> so you knew it had to come up to get the guy you wanted. Number 80. Got to be the all-time best receiver. I, I know there's been a lot the last few years, 10 years, 15, but offense has changed. This was the first big run and shoot other than my Air Coriel. Offense, Mr. Jerry Rice, and see right in, there's the, so there it is YouTube, bask in its glory, take her easy YouTube, she's easy, take her twice.